Today in our 2016 Toyota Highlander, we're going to be test fitting the Kirk Premium 4 bike rack, part number C18064. We already have a bike installed on the rack. Let's go ahead and take a closer look and show off some of the features. The first being is how the frame is kind of bent inward towards the end here. And that's going to accommodate different sized bikes, such as kids' bikes. How the bike is attached to the rack, we're going to have three points of contact with the bike's frame. We're going to have two straps up at the top here and one strap off to the side. And that's going to serve as an anti-sway strap to keep the bike from moving too far back and forth, possibly hitting the bikes in front of it. Let's go ahead and take the bike off and set it aside. Now with the bike rack in this position, taking a measurement from the edge of the bumper to our outer edge here, we've added about 37 and a half inches to the rear of the vehicle. For our ground clearance, we have about, about 13 and a half inches. For our closest point, it's going to be this metal bracket here, it's going to be about 6 inches. Now for close quarter situations such as parking, these arms do fold down. To do that, we'll pull this pin and clip, let it fold down, reinsert the pin and clip, drop my handy dandy measuring tool there, then we'll go ahead and take another measurement. Again measuring from the edge of the bumper, now we've only added about 14 and a half inches to the rear of the vehicle. So there, that did make a pretty significant difference. Now if you wanted to actually tilt away from the vehicle to gain hatch access, that's possible, although you cannot do that when a bike is still attached. We'll loosen up this knob at the back, right here. Then we'll pull this pin and clip out, lift up on this T-handle, and now we have full access to the rear hatch to get whatever we need with plenty of space on either side to do so. Reinsert the pin and clip. Now this bike rack only works for two inch hitches and comes with its own anti-rattle bolt and that's going to take out the shake and play in the shank to make for a much smoother ride. And there you have it for the Kirk Premium 4 bike rack, part number C18064 on our 2016 Toyota Highlander. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next we're at the alternating speed bumps which will see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Finally, we have the full speed bumps where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. 